Hello everyone, how is going? I hope you are all doing well. Okay, in recent times, many people have reported that they hear popping and crackling sounds when they play music on their MacBook Pro 16 inch. If you are facing the same problem on your Mac, then this video will surely help you to fix this issue easily. Okay, without any talk, let's dive into the solution. Solution number one change audio MIDI setup in your Mac. Most people in the forum say changing MIDI settings would help you to fix this issue. So you can also try this one. To do that, launch audio MIDI setup on your Mac, then select the built-in output. And one more thing guys, if you are facing this issue with your external speaker, then select the external speaker instead of built-in output. From the built-in output, change the format to 44,100 kHz. Now check your audio output if you're still hearing this popping and crackling sounds on your Mac. Solution number two, delete audio freeze files. Try to delete your audio freeze file on your Mac. This can sometimes help you to solve your problem. For that, tap on the go at the menu bar and select the computer option. Now choose Mac Windows HD, then tap on the library folder. Here tap on the preferences and in that select audio. From the audio folder, delete com.apple.audio.devicesettings.priest and also com.apple.audio.systemsettings.priest then erase these files from the bin also now go back and listen to any of the music to see if this problem is still being pursued or not solution number three update to the latest mac os sometimes updating your mac to your new os will help you to fix this issue so to do that launch system preferences on your mac then tap on the software update. If any new update is available, then tap on the update now option. That's it. Solution number 4. Turn off the equalizer. Turning off the equalizer may help you to solve this issue. To do that, open the music app on your Mac. Then tap on the window at the top of the menu bar. Here select the equalizer option. Check if it is turned it off or not. If it is turned it on, then turn it off. That's it guys, these are the solution to solve this issue. If you still face this issue, then there is no other way. We have to wait until Apple will fix this issue. Okay friends, if you have any doubts regarding this video, then let me know through the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe to iphonetopics.com. Thank you and adios.